Hello friends, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as alcoholic fermentation. In the previous video, we did discuss the lactic acid fermentation. So in this video, we will move one step forward and we'll discuss the second most common type of fermentation and that is the ethanol fermentation or alcoholic fermentation. The word alcohol is really important in our daily routine life because it is present in so many products that we use every day. For example, the cosmetics we use does have alcohol in them. Or, especially after 2020, during the time of COVID, we were using hand sanitizers. And those hand sanitizers does contain 70% of ethyl alcohol in them. Other than that, the hairsprays that we use or the perfumes we use every day does contain alcohol in them. Now, alcohol is a really big family. And the compound will become alcohol because it is going to attach itself with OH. So if this OH will attach itself with methane, it will become methanol. If it is going to attach with ethane, then it will become ethanol. Propane will become propanol, etc., etc. And out of all these type of alcohols that we can see, the two carbon alcohol, and that is the ethanol, is also present in alcoholic drinks. For example, the beer or wine, etc. And the process of making these alcoholic drinks involve the process of fermentation. Fermentation is a process of anaerobic respiration in which electron transport chain and oxygen is not involved in order to make ATP. In this particular type of fermentation, small organisms called as Saccharomyces cerevisiae is going to degrade glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Now the glucose it is going to take from either barley or grapes, depending on what type of drink it is going to make. And it is also going to release carbon dioxide. Now, as we know, we put yeast in our dough, and when this dough rises up, it is basically the carbon dioxide that makes the bread rise. Okay, wonderful. Now, we need to understand the process by which the alcohol fermentation is done and how glucose will convert itself into ethanol and carbon dioxide. And the second most important question is that why Saccharomyces cerevisiae are giving us a favor by making carbon dioxide and ethanol. Now let's get deep into this process. So in alcohol fermentation, the first step is glycolysis, in which a six carbon compound called as glucose will convert itself into three carbon compound called as pyruvate. In this process, it is going to release two molecules of ATP and two molecules of NADH. Now, this pyruvate have this carbon dioxide that is going to get released from it in the form of carbon dioxide. And the rest of the carbon skeleton will be called as acetaldehyde. Now, the process does not stop here. Because in order to perform this process of glycolysis, we need NAD+. And this NAD+, will be generated back by the conversion of acetaldehyde into ethanol. Because the conversion of ethanol will take two hydrogen atoms from here and attach itself on this carbon atom. Releasing these two hydrogen atoms convert this NADH back into NAD+. And now this NAD+, is available for another glucose molecule to perform another glycolysis again. Now this process is done by Saccharomyces cerevisiae in order to produce ATP molecule. Now ATP molecule is only produced during glycolysis and to do glycolysis we need NAD+, again and again. So it will convert glucose into ethanol again and again. Make sense? Okay, 
By this way, these two lovely products will come in our hand and we make lots and lots of different type of products to make our life yummy. So have a good day and bye for now.